What's up guys, it's Michael. We're here with another video. This one's gonna be a little bit different. It's still a review, but we're doing a review on a shoe I've already gotten. But I'm also wanting to help you guys out to be able to spot a fake versus a real. So, you know the Pharrells I did recently. I like them, and they're real. Because Ashley got them for me for my birthday. And I had been really wanting a pair of real Pharrells for a long time, but Pharrells are just a little bit on the expensive side. So, I didn't want to spend that much money. And this was... Kind of towards the beginning of me becoming a sneakerhead, so I was like, okay, let's see how China works out. So I went on one of my sites, got these pair of shoes. This one, this is a, this is clearly a fake, and we're gonna spot the differences between the fake and the real here in a little bit. But I had ordered these because I wanted a pair of Pharrells, and so when I got on the site, they looked real on the picture. But then when I got them and felt them, they just feel, they feel cheaply made. And I mean, they were just $45, so I can understand that. But let's get into the differences of the box first, and then we'll dive in to see the differences between this and this. Alright guys, so first we're looking at the box. Now, you can already tell there's a lot of different coloring differences between this one is more of a cream color and this one which is solid white and you can also kind of hear just listen this box feels a little bit more thicker and if you zoom in because this is the real box if you really look you'll see how that the Pharrell Williams right here and then the Adidas it doesn't look like it's screen printed along with you've got US 10 France 44 UK nine and a half originals it's got all these barcodes and everything on it. But then, when you move over and look at this one, it's got US 10, France, China, Japan, all of this says running. They tried. They really tried to make it look like it's a good fake. But the thing that got me was if you can kind of look and see, you can tell that the Adidas part right here it feels like it's screen printed on and there's also a difference in size of the box this one is much much smaller than this box this one says 2018 this says 2016 now granted this might have been how they did the box in 2016 I'm not 100 percent sure I just know that my human race NMDs did not come in the box like this at all now let's check out the inside the inside of this box comes with the Adidas printed paper and you can see the StockX everything because I got it from StockX. But then, if you check out the inside of this box, they came in a bag. An Adidas bag and that's it. And this box is just feels like it's very poorly made. It just feels cheap and flimsy. I mean, it came damaged, but this box did too. However, this one just doesn't feel the same. But when you look, you'll see this box has like folded over edges right here. This box is not. It just feels very cheaply made. Hi, Halo. That's our work cap. So let's dive in and let's see how the shoe looks. All right. So now we're looking at the shoes. Now, okay. This is the real one. This one is straight up from adidas itself it's the holy festival one you've already seen the review on it but just keep in mind of this part right here where in hindu it says holy now if you look first off it's on the wrong shoe because this one was supposed to be a mimic of this shoe of the pink glow now they tried if you look you'll see that this is not as long as this one. Like the line right here is not as long as this one. Another big difference I notice is this leather back right here. Now, let me get this shoe. They both look the same, fairly close. If you look deep, you can see that there are differences. However, this leather right here feels more real than this one it just doesn't feel correct because when I first got this shoe that was the first thing I noticed was that the leather doesn't feel correct and the more and more I looked at it the more I was like okay this is not real in the slightest it's a 
I'd give it a 6 out of 10 of a fake. Another thing I notice is the boost. This does not, it's not as squishy. If you have any boost shoes, you can tell that this is a lot more squishy than this part. And it doesn't feel, none of it feels real. The prime knit upper doesn't feel correct. It doesn't feel breathable. I even put it on and it doesn't look right. The one thing that was semi, that I felt was semi real was this bottom part. So if you look, it has the Adidas printed right here, just ingrained in the gum part of the bottom. Because it has the exact same, it's a little dirty, but it has the exact same on this shoe as well. So I kept looking, I kept looking, I'd Google how to tell real from fake. And then I looked on the inside of the shoe. Because on the other video, you saw that it had the toe, the toe part. It's got like the, on the sole, it's got how uh, the heart, the stomach, the diaphragm and all that. Because it has it on this shoe as well. But I went and checked on my Yeezys. Because on Adidas shoes, I'm not sure about Nike shoes, but on Adidas shoes, they put on the tag where it has the size on the inside of the shoe, they put a QR code on there so you can scan it and I guess to check and see. Now, every Adidas shoe has this because I've got multiple Adidas shoes. I'm wearing a pair right now that has this exact QR code. The QR code, if you can see it, is you can see it's the main bold part is kind of in the shape of an L. It's not all the way around. Now, if you see regular QR codes, you'll see it's all blocked around, all bold around. But on this one, it's not. And if you look on a pair of Adidas that you've got at the house, you can see that it's like that. However, this QR code does not look like that at all, if you can see it. And that is the big part to see. Always check any Adidas shoe. If you think that it's inexpensive or something, check the QR code. Because if it does not look like this, then it's fake. Now, this is a fairly decent fake. Like I said, it's like 6 out of 10 would I give it. If you're want wanting to spend a lot of money and you don't live in an area that has a lot of sneaker heads, you could get these. And you could probably pass them off. The other, the other shoe of this one just says Hue. Like, you know, on those one those NMDs that I have say hue on it, but it doesn't say it like this. And it should say species. But it's a decent-ish fake. It's got mainly all the fixings. It's got the same little marble where you can put your laces and all that. But I wouldn't recommend it. If you're really big into sneakers, I would just recommend going ahead and getting this pair the real pair, the fakes, I've been sitting on for a long time, and I might just take them to Goodwill or something, because I mean, they are shoes, they're just not real Pharrells, but anyway, thanks for watching, uh, stay safe out there, this virus, it's really getting everybody, so just stay safe, wash your hands, check out more of my videos, I'll be posting more and more, I've got a lot of videos lined up for you guys, so thanks for watching, be sure to like and subscribe, check out my Twitter, check out my Instagram, and hit the bell for more videos. Thanks guys, bye.